A six-year-old child presents to the emergency department one hour after being bitten by a dog. On examination, the child has multiple transdermal bite marks and a degloving injury to the left thigh. The child's tetanus immunization status is up to date. What is the most appropriate management for rabies prevention in this case? Option A. Administration of rabies immunoglobulin and rabies vaccine. Option B. Administration of rabies vaccine. Option C. Wound cleaning in running tap water. Option D. Wound suturing and injection TT. The patient presents with multiple transdermal bite marks and a degloving injury, which classifies this as a Category 3 dog bite wound, according to the World Health Organization WHO, classification for rabies exposure. Category 3 includes transdermal bites, scratches or licks on broken skin and requires immediate administration of rabies immunoglobulin RIG, and the rabies vaccine for post-exposure prophylaxis. Rabies immunoglobulin RIG, provides immediate passive immunity by neutralizing the rabies virus at the site of the bite. Rabies vaccine stimulates active immunity and is crucial for long-term protection. In this case, as the injury involves transdermal bites, category 3, both RIG and the rabies vaccine are necessary to prevent rabies infection.